Hello everyone. In this video, I want to give you an overview of how M plus handles missing data when you run, for example, structural equation models or confirmatory factor analysis or path analysis or some other kinds of analysis. So what kinds of options do you have in M plus to address missing data and how does M plus do this by default? In case you're new to this channel, on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials mostly related to structural equation modeling and other multivariate techniques often um, concerning the M plus software. So if this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel. Also if you like this video please hit the like button and if you have any comments then please um, leave comments in the comments section. So here I want to talk about, first of all, how does M plus handle missing data when you don't say anything, when you just use the M plus defaults? How does this work? So when you run a structural equation model in M plus or a path model or something like that, and you have missing scores in your data set, then what M plus will automatically do is it'll employ full information, maximum likelihood estimation with missing data. So this is, you automatically get it. You don't even have to ask for it. And plus will automatically include all of the scores, even those that have missing data, unless they have missing scores on all the variables that you're using in your model. Why does M plus do this? M plus does this because it knows that it's the least um, offensive, so to say, option. The worst option would be to use something like listwise deletion. So even if you're not meeting all of the assumptions, then this is still better um, full information maximum likelihood than a lot of other ad hoc methods for dealing with missing data. For example, listwise deletion is often used and that makes stricter assumptions about the underlying missing data mechanism than does full information maximum likelihood estimation. And so therefore this is implemented as the default so that you can make use of all the data and make less restrictive assumptions than when using something like listwise deletion. This is practical because you don't have to really do much in M plus other than include your missing scores in the data set, tell M plus how missing scores are coded, and then when you run an analysis, it'll automatically um, use FIML. Now, a little later, I'll give you also some tips on how you can improve the estimation with full information maximum likelihood in cases you're maybe not meeting the missing at random data assumption that is made here uh, with FIML. So stay tuned for that. Now, what other options do you have in M plus for addressing missing data? Sometimes we're interested in imputing missing scores, full information, maximum likelihood estimation doesn't do that. It leaves your data set with the missing scores, but takes all the information into account from all cases, but your data set still has missing scores. With multiple imputation, we can actually replace missing scores with values, so-called imputed values. And this is something that you can also do in M+, but you have to specifically ask for that. And there are different ways to do this in M+, I'm not going to go into the details here, but it, I can tell you it's uh, very straightforward to do. And I have another YouTube video that you can check out where I show how multiple imputation is done in M+. So you can take a look at the description where you find a link to that um, other video where I describe multiple imputation in M+. Sometimes it's preferred, for example, when you have categorical data, when you want to Im impute at the item level, and for some reason you can't use full information, maximum likelihood estimation, then we might use multiple imputation, which makes the same assumption of missing at random data and is also, in terms of the underlying mathematical theory, equivalent to FIML. Furthermore, in M+, you also have uh, the option to use listwise deletion, which, again, is not typically recommended. There are very rare instances where this is something that you should do. Typically, we should not use listwise deletion because it makes the more restrictive assumption of missing completely at random data, which is more restrictive than missing at random data, um, which is implied by FIML and multiple imputation. And so listwise deletion makes a more restrictive assumption about missingness. You lose data, you delete cases, so your sample size shrinks and you lose power, you potentially introduce bias when your data are not missing completely at random. Nonetheless, I want to tell you how to do it in M+. 
you can do it by specifying the command listwise equals on in the data command within M plus, then M plus will kick out all the cases that have missing scores on one or more variables in your model and it'll only use complete cases. Now, I want to give you another tip for handling missing data here and I have actually another video on that where I talk about this in more detail and that is about auxiliary variables. So auxiliary, vari auxiliary variables are something that is very useful when you have missing data and when you use something like full information, maximum likelihood estimation in M plus or multiple imputation to deal with missing data. Auxiliary variables are variables that are correlated with missingness or with the variable that has missing scores. So those are variables, so to say, that can explain missingness, that can explain why people dropped out of the study or why people didn't respond to certain variables. For example, age. Maybe there are age-sensitive questions in your questionnaire that older people maybe don't want to respond to because they feel ashamed or something like that, or younger people don't want to respond. And so then missingness might be correlated with age or other variables. Or you might have variables that provide information about the variable that has missingness. So maybe there's another variable that is strongly correlated with your dependent variable that has missing scores. And so then that you can borrow some of that information from that other variable because those variables are highly correlated. So those kinds of variables are called auxiliary variables. They are not typically of interest per se in the statistical model. So you don't really want to deal with them. Um, that much because they're not of substantive interest to your model. However, they are of interest for you to better deal with missing scores because those auxiliary variables can help you establish the missing at random mechanism or condition or at least approximate that better because those variables are correlates of missingness, they explain missingness and they provide information about missingness and so they can help you reduce bias in your analyses, they can help you increase your statistical power of the analysis with missing scores, and so you want to include them if possible. And now I'm mentioning this because M plus has very, very convenient uh, features for dealing with auxiliary variables, so you don't have to mess with them, you don't have to figure out how to include them in your model, um, because M plus does all this automatically, so to say, behind the scenes. I want to show you how this works. You don't have to include them in the model itself yourself. And so I want to show you how this works in M plus using an example here where we have full information maximum likelihood. So we're going with the default in M plus. This is a simple path model, simple mediation model where we have three variables x, an exogenous variable, m the mediator, the variable and y our dependent variable here, you can see those are listed here under use variables. And we also have these auxiliary variables here that I just simply called aux1 through aux3. And so these variables are correlated with missingness and therefore included in the analysis. However, notice that they're not listed under use variables and they're also not listed in the model statement here where we have just simply plainly our uh, mediation model specified. They are only listed in one line of code here that says auxiliary equals m for missing aux1 through aux3. And that's all you need to do. Then m plus will automatically behind the scenes establish them in terms of what is called a saturated correlates model where they are correlated with the residual terms to include them in the analysis. And so you don't see anything in the output uh, about that because it's not of substantive interest, but these variables are taken into account to improve the um, estimation with missing data. And you can see also here that M plus automatically uses FIML estimation. We don't have to tell M plus we want to, or we don't have to request it specifically, it's automatically done by default, and then when you include this auxiliary M statement here, then M plus will also include those auxiliary variables in the analysis. You can see it's very simple, very straightforward, and um, extremely helpful so that you don't have to throw data away, you can maximize your power, you can reduce bias, and so on. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any comments, then please leave those in the comment section and I'll see you next time.